Welcome to day 337 of the BU 365 Day Challenge to do one thing every day that improves us in some way. This month, the month of December, we are doing questions every day. I'm asking two questions every day. One for you to think about and ponder and answer. And, and love if you'd answer in the comments below, but I understand if you choose not to, at least think about the question and do the action item. And then one question that's a little bit funny and frivolous or rhetorical. And today, our first question, let me grab my magnifying glass, obviously one's about sliced bread, is if you could, if there could be one global law, one law that applied to all of humanity, everyone in the planet, everyone on earth, what would you have that law be? And number two, our second question is, what was the best thing before sliced bread? Now, I actually Googled that, and there's an answer there. It has something to do with this wrapper, and it was, uh, and it's our idiom for today, too, for supersize your business. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Now, that's the other side of sliced bread, right? After sliced bread was invented, which was in 1928, by the way, by an, a really cool engineer guy named oh, Otto Frederick. Rod Webler, so he was an engineer and an inventor and a jeweler. He had quite the resume back in the day of uh, the early 1920s. Anyway, he actually invented sliced bread with much trial and error, just like everything else that's ever been invented. Usually just wasn't click and it was invented magically. It took some tries and some attempts before it was successfully achieved. But I agree, sliced bread has been an absolutely incredible invention for so many reasons, right? So much easier to make toast, make a sandwich. You save time and energy by not having to slice the bread. So it actually solved a pretty big problem for people. Also found it interesting that in World War II, sliced bread was, it was illegal to sell sliced bread because they were saving steel for the war effort. So we'll talk more about sliced bread and supersize your business. You can hop on over to my Supersize Your Business for Female Entrepreneurs page or group if you're interested in that. But let's answer one of these two questions today. If there was a global law, just one global law that was created or that you could create, what would that global law be? Not international law, not like the UN and how countries are supposed to get along. Overall for humanity, what would that global law be? And number two, or no, and or number two answer, what was the best thing before sliced bread? What do you think the best thing was that had been invented up until that point? All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow for two more questions that we can answer and ponder this month. Why questions? Because questions are one of the most powerful things we can use by picking purposefully to direct our life and create the life that we want. We'll continue to talk about that all month as well. But I want to take it easy on myself and on all of us as we plan for next year and as we take all of the lessons that we've learned from this challenge so far. And it's the holidays, so many holidays, so many activities going on. I'm also traveling. Uh, it makes it easy for us to do something that improves us every day, but not takes a lot of time and energy. All right, have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.